One of the major keys to understand how your 48 works is to understand how it handles session, how it handles the dialogue between clients and servers. Now, 48 is a session aware firewall. We all know the get system session list, which gives us an overview of the sessions that are currently running on your FortiGate between different clients towards different destination. We can also see the source net. We can see which protocol is being used. Another well-known command is the diagsys session list, which we can also filter based on the uh, host IP or destination IP. But I would like to show you another command, which I'm not sure that is uh, that popular, which is the get system session info full stat. Now let's make the screen a bit bigger. Now what we can see in that command is the session table size, that is the uh, current session table size, the number of entries that is possible in the session table. Another thing we can see is how many sessions are being used right now. In our case, we have 64 sessions that are being used right now. The session count is the number of sessions in the kernel. Now we can also see several more things. We can see the memory tension drop. That is the number of dropped sessions due to system that is running out of memory. Another very interesting information that we can find is the ephemeral, which is actually a buffer that protects our table, our session table, from getting overloaded. That is, if a denial of service attack is happening. Now, the first number is the amount of sessions that are in use, the second number is the maximum number that is allowed. Now, if we, can, if we see that uh, both numbers are very close, then there is a, a good indication that a denial of service is actually happening on your organization. The other thing that we can see is the TCP sessions. Now, looking at the TCP sessions, we can see their state. Each session has a different state. So we can see that we have 11 sessions in established state. That is, they have finished the three-way handshake connection. The connection now is established and they can transfer data. We can also see that we have one session that is in a time wait state. Now, the time wait state is a special state that happens when a connection termination request is sent and our FortiGate actually reserves some time to ensure that the remote side received the termination request.